Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, where we, where we get always to watch and learn. This is our history class, and we are looking at United Nations and the formation of the United Nations. This is your tutor, Roger Bichira. Now today, we'll get to why the United Nations, right? In that case, why was the United Nations formed? Welcome all and let us learn. So class, by the end of the lesson, each and every one of us should be able to state reasons for the formation of the United Nations. Now let us get to our class today. Why do we have the United Nations? That is the big question. Why the UN? Right? Why did we have the United Nations? Now, one of the reasons why we have the United Nations is that after, after World War I, the League of Nations was created to prevent another world war, right? Remember, in the, in, in, in the, in the Versailles Peace Treaty, right, they agreed that let us, stay, let us form a, 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 an international organization that is going to prevent another occurrence of the war. Now they formed the League of Nations. But again, we did see that League of Nations had a number of its challenges, Right? It didn't succeed in, pre in, uh, in maintaining world peace, uh, world peace and, and security. Now, that is where, again, they had to form the United Nations. Right? Now, after World War, the League of Nations was created to prevent another world war. Another reason why the UN was formed is that during the World War II, the League of Nations was eliminated because it failed to prevent another war. Now, remember, First, it was the League of Nations that was in place. Now, after it failed to prevent the occurrence of another war, what did the, the, the principles do, right? All those member states in the five superpowers, that is USA, USSR, talk of Britain, right? Talk of uh, China. Now, they agreed to, to, to form another United Nations since the League of Nations had, had, had failed to prevent the occurrence of another war. Then another reason for the formation of the United Nations is that, is that in 1945, with the end of the World War II, nearing the United Nations, uh, nearing, right, nearing the, the, the end of the World War II, the United Nations was created to replace the failed League of Nations. So as we can see purposely, purposely, the UN was formed purposely to replace the failed League of Nations. And, uh, and early in our classes, we had seen why did the League of Nations fail. One is that some of the, uh, of the nations that were in the UN, some of the members that were in the UN, saw it uh, uh, um, linked to the Versailles Treaty, right? And, you, uh, and we all know, we all remember how the Versailles Treaty uh, uh, treated Germany, right? So they saw that the League of Nations was aligned to the Versailles Peace Treaty. That's where the League of Nations failed. And now again, nearing the end of World War II, the United Nations was formed to replace the League of Nations. Let us look at another reasons why the UN. One, it was created to promote respect for fundamental, res uh, respect for fun fundamental rights, right? So it was created to, 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 to promote respect for fundamental rights and also talk of the human rights and freedoms right it was created to make sure that human rights and freedoms are respected and also to promote social progress and better living standards to the people right talk of economic development right social support the un that that, that, that was why the un was created and also to promote economic development among member states, whereby the UN sometimes could fund those countries that, that were uh, affected by the World War I and World War II. And again, class, let us get another question again. Why does, what does the UN do, right? What does the United Nations do? What are some of the works of the United Nations? One, we get to know that the UN was created to maintain international peace and security. Right? That is it. The UN was created to maintain international peace and security. That is the first work of the UN. That is why we have the UN soldiers. Right? We have the UN, UN soldiers. If, if we get to look at uh, in Syria, in Somalia, 
right, the UN nations have been deployed. So their work is to maintain international peace and security. And also another work of the United Nations is to maintain friendly relationship between countries. Yes. That is it. It works to maintain friendly relationships between countries. Right. For example, you have got border disputes. Right. If you have been having border disputes for a long time, talk of a North, no, uh, uh, Northern Sudan and Southern Sudan. Right. They have been having border disputes for a long time. That's where you get the United Nations. They maintain good or friendly relationship between countries. Another work that the UN does is it works to promote economic development of the member states. Right. That is it. It works to promote economic development of member states nations and these are the members or rather these are the states we call the third world countries right or rather the developing countries and also those members that were greatly affected by the world wars right wherever you, you we always know when we have we, when we have got um, instability in a country right there is no economic development now the un worked towards promoting economic development of its member nations now class we have looked at why the UN and also we have looked at what does the UN do. So we have looked at two questions and we have answered two um, primary questions, right? Why the UN and what does the UN do? Now class, for our assignment, can we get to state the reasons for the formation of the United Nations? Good, that is our assignment. State the reasons for the formation of the United Nations and as always, get to use our reference book that is Evolving World History the form for syllabus, the seventh edition. Now, and as always, this is a Limu TV, your favorite channel where we, we, where we always get to watch and learn. Tune in on our YouTube channel. You get to watch a number of lessons that we have posted there and also get your feedback via SMS line 0723 144 Thank you. Let us keep watching Elimu TV where we get to watch and learn.